The Crypto Markets Update is brought to you by KuCoin, the best place to find the next crypto gem. The fourth quarter was a whirlwind. No, actually, it was a hot mess for the crypto investors. Um, They saw basically Fed rate hikes in November and December. And oh, what's that? FTX going bankrupt and Sam Bankman free filing for bankruptcy. So it's now Sam Bankruptman fee. All right. Well, anyway, uh, joining us now to discuss the crypto markets is none other than our own Jody Gunsberg. She's managing director of Coindesk Indices. Welcome back, Jody. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Um, so, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to discuss the crypto markets. We're going to discuss all the indices, but we kind of have to ask, because a lot of kids at home are watching this for the first time. They want to know more about crypto. Uh, you ha- we have the Coindesk uh, Market Index. So before we talk about any of this, what is the Coindesk Market Index? That's a great question. The way I view the Coindesk Market Index is that it's meant to be the broadest measure of digital assets as possible. I think of it as the kitchen sink of crypto. Uh, Currently, it includes 163 assets because we need at minimum pricing and market cap to calculate it. Its constituents cover over 90% of the market cap, and they are assigned to 33 industries and 21 industry groups across six sectors. So it's really a comprehensive measure. And during this quarter, all of the assets fell except for 18 of them. So about 88% of the assets lost, driving the overall market performance down 11.5%. All six of the sectors fell and only the currency sector outperformed the market. Yeah, I want to ask you about that because, uh, you know, so for for people who, who are wondering what, what's going on here, it's a, uh, Coindesk also has this DAX, which is the digital asset, uh, um, um, what's a C in DAX? I even forgot already. Uh, so this, it's a standard, it's a classification standard. And it is a way in which we can sort of think about, you know, lumping all the light coins together, uh, similar coins here and there. And, and so we have six of them basically. And as you said, currencies, were kind of the only ones that they outperformed. They they did the best, right? Where they they were up and but what was wacky about it is in that basket of coins, it was FTT F, FTX token, which was let's face it, um, it was hell. So <laughs> what happened here? Like how did this happen? How how did how did this whole sector go up despite having this? horrible anchor tied around its neck. The digital asset classification standard is truly a qualitative exercise that assigns the top 500 assets by their market cap into industries, industry groups, and sectors. And the FTT token was assigned to the transparent C5 currency industry. And although the FTT market cap was one of the biggest of the 500, it was in the top 25 by size, it never made it into the Coindesk market index that measures the market. Because at minimum, again, we need pricing and market cap. And FTT never met the pricing criteria of being listed on Uh, at least two eligible exchanges for 30 days. So it never made it into the index and it never made it into the measurements. So uh, actually the worst performer in the sector was chain. That was down about 58%. See that kids standards matter. (laughs) And yet Jody, you said most of the sectors were, uh, did not perform so well. So what was the worst performing sector and why? Yeah, the worst performing sector was the culture and entertainment sector. And what drove that was mainly the metaverse industry group that makes up over two thirds of that sector. All 23 of the constituents in the sector lost for the quarter. Um, Still the best performing asset was Adventure Gold, but it still lost about 10 and a half percent. That one leaned heavily on NFTs being free to use however people want to use them. So any of the new projects looking to incorporate loot tends to have the positive effect on the price of Adventure Gold. 
And uh, it looks like a game called Endless Crawler was holding it up. But the worst performer was Rally. It dropped uh, about 53%. And that was really pulled down by the FTX collapse and hasn't been able to recover since. And of course, the largest uh, token in that sector is ApeCoin. And that makes up over 20% of the sector. And that also lost 26% for the quarter. So even though it was the fifth per best performing asset in the sector, they were all down. It's fluctuated wildly this quarter. Uh, it's swinging to new lows on the back of an SEC probe in October. And then it rebounded considerably on the launch of their staking service in mid-December. So that's really been a volatile play, but that's been the worst performing sector. And I'd actually look towards that sector and towards the gaming for some stability and rebound next year.